Exercise helps promote hair growth. Sounds great, right? Yes, there are several exercises that promote a healthy hair growth with absolutely zero side effects, including the facial and scalp muscle exercises. These exercises not only help your body, but also have a positive effect on your hair because they increase blood flow to your scalp and help hair regrowth. In this episode, we will discuss the top six exercises for hair growth, which can actually delay or prevent the onset of baldness, both in men and women. Now, let us start these exercises one by one. We will also show you which combination of exercises will work best for you and which exercises or combinations you can choose, including the facial and scalp muscle exercises. Please watch this video till the end. On number one, inversion exercise. There are two methods of this exercise. First, lie down on the edge of the bed with your head hanging down. Stay in this position for four to five minutes. Perform this at least twice a day. Gravity plays a role in this exercise and increases blood flow into the scalp and hair follicles. Second, headstand or handstand position. This is the famous yoga pose called Shurasasana, the headstand yoga pose. This pose needs a little practice to learn. You can also use the support of a wall to perform this exercise once daily. But initially, you should start to stay in this pose for one minute and then gradually increase the duration. This is the most powerful exercise that increases blood flow to the scalp and even washes out harmful toxins and hormones like DHT, which are responsible for male or female pattern baldness. Avoid the inversion method if you have underlying conditions like blood pressure, heart disease, spinal injury, vertigo, and hernia, or if you are pregnant. On number two, neck exercise. Stand straight with your hands relaxed on the sides. Now, slowly bend your head forward and bring it back, extending it as much as possible. Then bend your head sideways, stretching on each side for at least 10 seconds. Stretching your neck muscles releases the tension and stress in the neck and scalp muscles. Following this neck exercise, for twice a day, for at least 5 to 10 minutes, can improve blood circulation, which in turn, boosts hair growth. On number 3, Head Massage. Head or scalp massage is an ancient practice that involves performing rhythmic movements on acupressure points to relieve a number of issues like stress, headaches, graying of hair, and baldness. This promotes hair regrowth by improving the blood circulation in the scalp and opening the pores on your scalp to provide the essential nutrients to the hair follicles. You can use any oil like warm coconut oil to massage. Apply the warm oil to your scalp with your fingertips. Massage your scalp with your fingers in a circular motion and distribute the oil all over the scalp. Gradually increase the intensity of the massage to improve blood flow in the scalp. For acupressure type massage, use your fingertips pointing upwards and then massage your scalp with slow and circular movements. On number four, breathing exercises. Any form of deep breathing exercise, including the famous Kapalbhata yoga technique will help supply oxygen to rejuvenate damaged hair and promotes new hair growth. Sit on a flat surface with your back straight. Take a deep breath and pull your stomach inwards as much as possible when you are taking a deep breath. Then, exhale. You can exhale with one nostril at a time, but this is optional. Keep the exhalation brief and the inhalation longer. Perform this breathing exercise 15 to 20 times, at least twice a day. On number five, jogging. Cardio exercises like jogging not only keeps your body fit, but also allows you to sweat out the harmful toxins from your body. This opens the pores on the scalp and helps unclog hair follicles, promoting a healthy hair growth. Try jogging for at least half an hour every day to get healthy hair and stay fit. On number six, facial exercises to promote hair regrowth and prevent baldness. 
These are very important exercises that can actually reverse hair loss in early stages. We will discuss these facial exercises in our next episode. Please like, share, and comment below with your feedback and queries. Stay healthy.